Hello everyone, welcome. This is Feline Intuition 1111. This is going to be a collective reading. We are going to look at who is coming towards you. So let's see. Who's coming towards the collective? Who is coming towards you? Oh my goodness. Storm warning date. Unfinished business and mask. Right away, I feel like someone here is going to be going on a date and your past person is going to be not happy about this. They could all of a sudden feel like they have unfinished business with you. So there could be a new person coming towards you who you'll go on dates with, but it's going to trigger a past person. <laughs> Someone who's been wearing a mask for a while pretending to be uninterested who's coming towards you okay twin flame natural beauty everything else is a plus round the way girl stylish starstruck showstopper lover and friend and sound of music, science through songs, healing music, meditation, sound, singing bowl, nature song, pay attention to lyrics. There could be a lot of messages through songs for you when this is getting ready to happen. We've got sweeping things under the rug. I feel like a past person you dealt with wears a mask, used to sweep things under the rug, acted unin uninterested, and nonchalant so I almost said both those things at the same time but they're gonna see I just heard <laughs> I just heard you gonna see how is this sorry who's coming towards you I almost said how is this person feeling who's coming towards you who is coming towards you ace of swords I feel like there's gonna be a victory moment for you when your intuition is proven right because you may know that this person's hiding feelings. Five of Swords in reverse. All of a sudden, someone's gonna be feeling left out in the cold. I feel for some of you, there's someone who thinks that, or is still holding out for you to reach out to them. Them seeing you just move on with your life or even date people is going to make them see the truth. And it's also gonna make you see the truth because their true feelings are gonna come out could be a Pisces, a Cancer. They could even try to offer you love soon. Why is it? Hold on. Why are the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Something about you moving on is going to hit this person hard. Why the Three of Pentacles? They could hear it. I'm hearing Grapevine by... Who is it by? En Vogue. Is it En Vogue? I think it's En Vogue. I heard it through the Grapevine that you weren't doing so fine. This person's going to hear... They, they might hear that you've gone on a date. They don't have to see it on social media. It could be that you didn't even go on a date, but they hear something that triggers them about you. Makes them feel like they've lost you. Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. Either you're going on a date or they just heard that you are or that you did. And it is, it might cause them to come towards you. I'm also seeing that video, um, not even hearing the song, I'm seeing the video of, what's his name, Donnell Jones. Speaking of sounds through music, a lot of R&B songs coming through. Um, 
the one what's it called because when you love someone you, do, you don't treat them bad um where i want to be i think it's called where i want to be where at the end he sees the woman who is supposedly wants some space from and he wants to explore options and he wants to break up then he sees her on a date at the end of the video and all of a sudden he wants her back so that may be a thing either they're gonna see you or they're gonna hear about it whether it's true or not they feel hurt and may even come towards you with communication because they heard you was moving on okay check out that video just even if it's just the end part to see what i'm talking about because that's what i'm seeing some of you already know some of you already seen that video <laughs> um yeah look at that though returning and the ace of swords i didn't even ask a question and these two came out why the four sorry why the five of pentacles with the knight of pentacles in reverse they want i don't know if you block them and this is giving me this vibe that they i feel like they really thought that you were that you were stuck on them it's reminding me of a reading i did a few days ago this person actually thought you were coming towards them but this news that they're gonna hear is making them is making them do a 180 and realize that that is not what they thought why the why the chariot in reverse queen of swords Yeah. you're they're seeing you as more stubborn now the queen of swords and the death in reverse they know that you're not gonna budge i'm hearing not getting out of bed for less than a million dollars so they know it's not an easy way back to your heart well they're gonna find that out because you're not budging in some way like maybe they reach out to you and you don't respond or something but they see it as difficult to get to you for some reason why the why the ace of cups oh my goodness so yeah definitely someone you had a breakup with two of cups in reverse they feel like there could be no way back in but they're coming with this offer so this is definitely who's coming towards you Someone who's heard you've moved on and they're like, no way. Why the moon? Sorry about that, it got a bit loud. But the moon, clarified by these two cards. The seven of pentacles in reverse and the hangman. So this person, they're about to show you something different. They're about to reveal what's been hiding behind this mask. And I picked it up and it left the lover, the ex-lover card behind. So there's definitely an ex coming towards you. Let me see the main spread. There's Pisces energy. There's Leo, Cancer, Scorpio. Definitely the water signs. okay who's coming towards you who is coming towards you
<laughs> this person is upset. They're so like on your case that I'm not even seeing who else is coming towards you because I do feel like there could be dates, like there could be options that you go on dates with, but this person's making it all about them. And they're also seeing you as a bad partner, even if you guys broke up. Queen of Cups in reverse, cheating partner or just not cooperative. Even though, like I said, you could have broken up with this person, they could be a whole ex where you have the right to move on and they're still seeing you as kind of belonging to them, I guess, and doing them wrong by <laughs> moving on. But justice, Libra energy, could be a Libra. Wheel of Fortune. They're trying to bring positive change to the relationship. But I feel like that requires action. It's like that's a thought in their mind right now, but they need to back it up with action. Why the Queen of Queen of Cups in reverse? Something about your attractiveness. This person is bothered by <laughs> this person is bothered by other people who admire you. They don't want anyone else to admire you, look at you, look at your pictures. I have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Devil. They're possessive and obsessive. And they're trying to view you. Some of you maybe you broke up um, recently and maybe you're maybe you going on dates like too soon makes them feel like it's just too soon and that makes you kind of toxic. Which I don't know if that makes someone toxic if you've completely broken up with them. Or they broke up with you but they're viewing you as a bad partner even though you guys could be separated or broken up and it's because you've distanced yourself and you're doing your own thing or they've heard that you're doing your own thing even if you're not why justice This person feels like you're their other half. They feel like the relationship isn't going well right now, but they feel like ultimately in the future it should. Like you guys should ultimately get to this 10 of pentacles, but right now it's in the four of wands in reverse. So maybe that's why they're mad at you because they kind of, I don't know if they wanted to take a break. Remember I got that song, um, Darnell Jones. I guess in the I guess in the song he was trying to like separate and explore options and then get back together until he saw her exploring options and then all of a sudden he wanted to get back together so that could be exactly what's going on here for somebody or some of you because it seems like this person has this far out vision of you guys being together but right now it's like unstable maybe they didn't expect you to to do your own thing why the will of fortune this person is coming to snatch you up because of their ego they don't want no competition oh my gosh i really see why i've why i'm seeing that music video all of a sudden they want to make changes in the relationship they're, they're like no this is mine because there's something about them not liking other people even looking at you which is a bit possessive and controlling but like they see like a commitment in the future so I don't know what they were thinking with the separation or maybe you wanted the separation or you wanted to break up. I'm not seeing who ended things, but I'm seeing that they're not liking what you're doing. <laughs> or just the people who are trying to get with you. Why the queen of wands? And this is whether you're male or female.
Wheel of Fortune again in their wishes position. They're also, they also have some impatience going on, like they're about to lose their temper. It's about your looks, whether you're male or female, queen of wands. Um, whether it's the queen or king, it's still fiery, physically attractive. Why the page of pentacles in reverse? Afraid to move on, but afraid to take a leap. This could have been how they were in the recent past until they heard that you are. I keep seeing that video in my head. I, now I'm seeing particularly, particularly how aggressively he like ran into the place to go get her after seeing her on a date. So when I said afraid to move on, but afraid to take a leap, it's like that was in the recent past because if they find out that you're on a date or something like that, they're going to they're going to come towards you. Because I'm seeing how he aggressively like ran towards her. I think he opened the door aggressively was like, nope. <laughs> but anyways, Queen of sorry, King of Swords in reverse, Page of Wands. Why the King of Swords in reverse? This person wanted to act so detached. They could even try to like practice stoicism. I mean, stoicism works for certain things, but at the end of the day, you can never be completely detached and unemotional because human beings are emotional by nature, men and women. But this person really wanted to be come off as very unemotional but look at them now they're in the knight of cups energy they probably were like against simping for you and now they see someone else simping for you <laughs> so <laughs> or other people you know putting an effort towards you why the page of wands just saw 1818 for some of you who would resonate with that number this person page of ones they just thought with the with the with the seven of cups in reverse they just had an unrealistic view of what this was going to be. They thought that, you know, could separate, they could do their own thing and you would wait for them or something. Or that you, uh, I don't know. There's emphasis on you guys being broken up. But you having the right to do what you want to do because you're broken up, but them not seeing it that way. There's a thunder. <laughs> Why the Knight of Wands in reverse? They're feeling insecure. <laughs> They're feeling insecure. I'm laughing at how it came out. Also be careful. Not all of you are gonna resonate with this part, but for some of you, they could be trying to get back at you. So just be careful. I don't feel like that's for a lot of you. It's more like them, because um, this is their next move. They're trying to come out of conflict, but this could just be them being angry this night or once in reverse. Because you've definitely triggered their ego. Why the Queen of Swords? For some of you, this should be your lesson too, in a in a good way though, because I think you're learning what you being detached and being true to yourself can do. Because back to that music video, 
she just decided, okay, you're leaving. Fine, I'm gonna see what else is out there too. She was hurt for a minute, but she decided to do her own thing. And she got him back, so... And she wasn't even trying to do it in a malicious way. She was just doing her thing. So I feel like a lot of you are learning that you just doing you, even if someone walks away from you, that's your power. That's you reclaiming your power. And you shouldn't feel guilty because if they want you, they'll stay. That's what they're learning too. <laughs> Clarify the three of ones, please. Some of you may end up um, committed to this person if you do reconcile with them. There's this realization here. So I don't know if this is teaching this person a lesson to stay with you and stop playing games. You're hearing stupid games win stupid prizes. So they could be learning their lesson here. Who's coming towards you? unconditional love the love between you and your person is eternal nothing and no one can take it away from you forgive and release you are stronger when you when you carry love and forgiveness rather than anger again the fact that you just decided to move on is where your strength is you are the one you have already met the romantic partner you seek sorry why did i say you are the one it says they are the one maybe you are the one maybe you're both the one. <laughs> maybe you're both the one for each other obviously or they they could be realizing this i i, I really don't want to bring up that music video again but at the end he that that's when he realized <laughs> that's when he realized what he had what he has so we have boundaries. You need to teach people how to treat you by being clear on what you will or won't allow. Oh my gosh. I told you, that's what you're doing. Queen of Swords, you cried your tears and moved on. Some of you may not even have even cried. Maybe this happened recently. And you just decided, okay, cool, bye. I'm going to do me. And this person has learned how to treat you. I'm telling you, like, especially if this is a recent breakup. They've learned how to treat you because of what you did, because of how you handled the situation. They may have their anger and think that you moved on too soon. But if they are honest with themselves... You had a right to do what you want to do. So they may be angry at first, but at the end of the day, you set your boundaries. So who's coming towards you? Only you. Devoted, attached, crave. This situation is making this person addicted to you. Look at this intuition, heart song, tel telepathy in a knowing. And we have the whole music thing here as well. Something about music for some of you. Resistance, secret admirer, suppressing, timid. So this is them wearing their mask until they find out that you moved on or you're planning to. Confusion, uncertain, unclear, unsure. I feel like this is you. You were unsure at one point, but they're, with the moon that came out earlier, they're about to really show you how they really feel and stop with the mask. Who's coming towards you? Eclipse, unpredictable. Plus, se actual energy. I feel like this. <laughs> remember, there's that thing about attraction. This person could be thinking about you in bed with other people or someone else, and that could really bother them. 
because it's definitely something about your physical. So we got voodoo, voodoo priestess, higher learning. We also have high priestess here as well in reverse. Return of the ex, they want you back. So <laughs> they've learned their lesson. They tried to play a game. Or maybe they just thought that it would be all about them. But you showed them something different. Let's see. Who's coming towards you? Someone has unmet needs. There are regrets. Learning to forgive. We have that twice. Forgive and release. So you're like, you learn to forgive and release this person. There will be a return. Oh my gosh, look at this. Return of the ex. There will be a return. I'm telling you, this person's coming back. They are the ones who's coming towards you. And they're blocking out all the other people who could be coming towards you in this reading. <laughs> who's coming towards you? open up they could knock on your door or they could open up to you worth the way let go of control trust this is exactly what you've done you've said okay if i'm meant to be with the ex i'll be with the ex if i'm meant to be with these new options if, if i'm meant to be with someone new i'll be with someone new sorry about that it got a bit loud but as i was saying as i was speaking about um you trusting the universe i saw 222 on the clock so you really are trusting the universe when it comes to love who's coming towards you indecisive i know my inability to make a decision hurts you so they think because you are taking a different route we got chaser i don't want to chase anymore You've decided not to chase the situation. Commitment. I want you to be part of my future. I told you. I told you they have this thing of the future. This vision of the future. But right now they know that it's not stable. What this person is learning is that they actually, <laughs> that if they want this, there can't be this big gap in between where they don't do any work. They have to actually pave the way. We have reciprocity. I want to have equal give and take. This is a lesson for this person. Who's coming towards you? Short term, quick flings, ending. Some of you could really go on a date with someone. It could be short term. Maybe you decide to reconcile with this person from the past home some of you could get a home together and this person could really start to pursue you more than before we got soulmate great connection relationship it's like something like this situation really is pushing this person it's leaving them with no choice but to do the right thing no choice but to do the right thing So yeah, clarify the secret admirer, please. Their ego is really bruised, but they want to apologize. This is triggering a part of this person that needs healing. It's really bothering them. It's like they try to, I'm being drawn to this, so it's like they try to keep sweeping things under the rug, call all the, you know, have the say in how this relationship goes, separate from you when they feel like it, you know. Now they're learning a hard lesson that it takes to, to work on the relationship. I'm hearing it takes two to make a thing go right. So, lessons here you're learning your power and they're learning 
to stay one place okay could be a libra could be a sagittarius um who else aquarius capricorn aquarius again libra again those are the main signs we've got air fire and water mainly so i hope this was helpful thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one